China's once thriving wedding industry is now grappling with a double whammy. Not only has the COVID-19 pandemic thrown a curveball at the elaborate and expensive wedding traditions in the country, but a plunging number of couples willing to tie the knot is posing an even greater threat. The trend is raising alarms for officials aiming to boost both marriage and birth rates. Now take a look at this next report for more. With the number of Chinese couples getting married in decline, scenes like this are becoming a rare sight. Less matrimony is a worrying trend for wedding planners in China, an industry estimated at almost $500 billion just three years ago. Yuan Jialiang ran a full-scale wedding planning business for almost a decade in Shanghai before switching to wedding photography as demand for his services began to fall. And he hasn't looked back. In the process of switching from wedding planning to wedding photography, I started to realize that actually couples' demands for photography and videography will not change. No matter how the format of the wedding changes, no matter how the scales of the wedding changes, they still have the demand to record this precious time. So I found that I've made the right career change. China's wedding industry already hit a rough patch during the pandemic when many couples delayed their ceremonies. There were 6.8 million marriages across China last year, which is 800,000 fewer than in 2021 and the lowest since the government began publishing the data in 1986. Now a bigger threat looms in couples less willing to spring for an all-out wedding. Ceremonies in China are traditionally elaborate, expensive affairs, but wedding planners report that couples who do go for it are spending less. This drop in marriage registrations will likely exacerbate the decline in births in China, already one of the fastest aging societies in the world. Many cities deny unmarried mothers child raising or health care subsidies and having children out of wedlock is often frowned upon. As the economy weakens and consumer confidence wanes, those in the industry are finding little cause for optimism. The whole environment has contributed to the fact that the wedding industry is not very prosperous now. I was probably hopeful for another big industry climax, but now I'm more worried than optimistic about the prospects. With high jobless rates and low household spending among the young and the middle class, Zhuo Wang, who owns several stores in China selling designer wedding dresses, is staking the future of her company on wealthier clients that have weathered the economic downturn. Um, COVID caused such a big impact on everybody's lives. As a market, we see an absolute downturn in spending. So all alongside our strategy have been niche, 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 niche. Uh, we don't want to flow with the broader market because we don't think that's in a good place to go. 